All right. This is Verita, Veritra? Wait, I don't know how you exactly see that. Complete edition. Which I assume means that there was a, probably a basic edition at some point. I didn't see it on Steam. Maybe it is there. I didn't look very hard, but... Uh, looks interesting, and honestly, I feel like I vaguely know this game. Like, I feel like I've seen perhaps their earlier edition of it at some point in the past. I was very intrigued and I wanted to grab it because it's definitely a genre I'm interested in, so let's check it out. B. Ritra? Ritra? Maybe, maybe you pronounce the B separately, I don't know. Speed down, speed up. I'll have to remember that. Grab a shot. Okay. How do you switch shots, though? I guess I'll figure it out. I may just have stream. Probably just picking up things. Yeah. I know nothing. Indra soars across the sky. The screams of the people in the darkness of the sky are signals to the monsters by them. And your sole purpose is to probably deal with that and not have that. Cause I'm shooting sure things. Also, dragon. Dragons plus shoot them up equals good combination. Yeah, but it's a bit of a Panzer Remember, I don't really consider Panzer Dragon a shoot em up. It's very arcadey, but I don't think it's a shoot em up. I like, oh, oh. I'm not sure. I'm trying to decide which fighter I like. Blue is a nice, reliable base. I do kind of like that. But... This one does have good spread coverage, even though I feel like my direct shot is weaker. If that aims in the direction I shoot. I don't know if that. Yeah, I think I'll save this one for now. Mostly because I do like the idea of being able to build things I can't quite aim at normally. Like, being able to take on ground targets up. Hitting myself on the ground is good. It doesn't appear like there's power up, I'm not really sure. But I mean, like power up to the power up. It doesn't look like there's upgrades, but I could be wrong. Let's try grabbing my thing on. So, so this is. The blue is a follow shot. I do like that. And this is kind of a. I don't know what you call it. I guess kind of a shield, yeah. I'm not terribly good with shield in shoot em up. I'm so probably not used to it too long, but I just kind of scared me. Also, I don't know what just happened, but thank you for whatever that was. $7? Thank you. I can barely hear that out of the shoot em I'm not sure who donated, but thank you. Please, please say something in the chat if you donated. Because uh, I can't see the overlay myself. Let's save a few of Oh god, Al. Let's save a few of Al. Ow, fuck. Oh, so yellow. Can yellow be upgraded? Okay, it doesn't look like it's been upgraded. Or maybe you can't, I don't know. There's, there's some things here. Actually, that's kind of fun. Fucking murder I'm gonna repeat. Oh, okay. Also, could somebody tell me who donated this? What they donated? They donated seven dollars, right? I think that's why I heard it. Actually, you know what? I might prefer these. You gotta love off our type of It's pretty good. Does that that gets me versatility? I can either hit ground targets or not. Oh. Oh, 
up. What happened there? You saw how I moved forward like that? That wasn't actually me. That something was just... Maybe it was my controller, I'm not really sure, but I just randomly moved forward. You donated? Thank you for the donation. A uh, pizza explosion! Look like an explosion of cheese. You might remember when I fight that. I'm probably gonna fucking suck at this one. Dude. I don't know why though, but I literally moved forward without actually moving forward. I'm not really sure that happened. One immediate complaint I have though, the power to stay on screen is way too long, so if I got the power if I want, I then have to, like, I have less screen coverage. I have less screen space to move around on because I don't want to touch the other guy. That is kind of a problem. Again, my controller did it again. I don't know, I don't think it's my controller. I think it's something else, but right there, I also, I went down all of a sudden, and that wasn't me. I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, it's like a giant airship. No, oh, a giant airship that has spiders. No, let's see if it works. Worse than a giant evil enemy airship, a giant enemy spider airship. Okay, so the control so twice my Dragon has randomly gone a direction I didn't tell him to go. Aside from that, the controls are fine, but... Right, not over. Oh, fuck it. I was hoping the spiders would die to my options while I killed the spiders. That's not, that's not how that works. Oh god, oh shit. Oh, I'm gonna die. Or did my stock of dragons actually reset between levels? Oh, again! I moved. I, I was trying to move left, but I randomly moved right. So the issue happened once more. It's just randomly my control seems to walk. Not see choosing it. You know what I'm gonna do? There. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Security system? How can roll how can fighters be security systems? Apparently this one is. She has a pistol. That's actually kind of a good thing, probably means it's not very strong in my
is actually really good in that case. Holy shit. So if I use the shields correctly, I can... Except for the web. The web can go anywhere. Okay. Nope, kill the Morian Spider. Didn't think it's dark. It's night time, but it wasn't the Morian Spider at all. It's night time. Weech is also buffering a lot. Not a single drop frame here, Car, and sadly it's your end. I mean, spiders are a security system against bugs, I guess you're right, yeah. Oh wait, no, I'm not gonna try that. The dying system was throwing me off of this, because there's dying and there's game hurt, apparently. Oh god, okay. I'd rather that thing go away. Okay, I'm stuck in the wall again. the Goliath, and the ship is infested with cellular fiber. Oh. Okay. Oh god, that's... Oh. It got more... It got all organic and... Good pattern for me. Need these assholes behind here.
I see you, plus one. What does that mean, plus one? Oh god. The whole level over again, right? Yep. Did I ever touch the timer, by the way? Have I been running this? Okay, I had to. Okay. Well, if you're now I have a fist stuck alive, so it probably works much better. I like I feel like the natural spread might be more useful here than the fucking power. Yeah, it kind of does look like that. kind of pokes in there. That one asshole, this guy here, I hate these guys. He kind of pops in with some of the other enemies I forget. I don't know if he's there until too late. Alright, so I'm gonna do better with this pattern this time. Alright. It's one of those patterns that kind of fakes me out. That bullet hell is up there. Get out of here. have with I, this is a this is a shoot 'em up staple walls to regenerate. I have so much trouble dealing with them though because it's hard for me to tell if I should uh rush forward or not. Because rushing forward can also get you fucking murdered. I'm demonstrating this is one hell of a level though, holy shit. God damn there's no way there's no room to dodge. Ah I know, I know things are gonna come through behind. Okay. Fine, okay. That was hard. Oh god. It's really unreasonable in my opinion, but you know, whatever. Okay. Alright, let's 
nice, thank you. I really have a moment to attack here. God damn. And also, yeah, I can't read the descriptions. I, I stopped trying because they're not on all of them at all. Also, this is good music, I agree. God damn, though, man. I can read the description of the title, make sure it's the forest. I'm always good with options, like, you know, the, the extra guns of light behind your movement. You know, honestly, should I? I feel like I should just kill myself because I only have one life, but. Also, I, I am forgetting the mechanic. I can change my speed. I've been saving the default speed this entire time because I felt like it felt bad. Oh, I can't do that shit. I couldn't tell if I can go through that box or not. Alright. Yeah, I'm always good with options because I'm good at creating a flow. I usually do a little circles to kind of. Oh, oh god! Okay, apparently this attack is alright. I attacked them and they didn't attack me, so I was very confused. So when I hit the boost when I do that, it does more damage. I don't like these little weak things. Especially because I can't kill them before they the uh, <laughs> really? Okay, one thing I will note, because I played enough shoot 'em up to note this. This game punishes you heavily if you leave certain enemies to exist while more enemies are spawning in. This game punishes you in the sort of uh sorry, there's no way you can avoid this attack now sort of way. Because I didn't kill X monster before Y monster showed up, I'm in trouble, basically. I'm not sure I'm a fun... I mean, sometimes it's obvious, like, you should destroy this thing because it's, you know, dangerous and you need to destroy it really fast, but... Like, that's normal shoot -em -ups, but that level of punishing is like, oh, sorry, you didn't kill this in time for this other wave up here? Like, sorry. Like, right there, for instance, lasers plus guys wanting to hold it on me. I need to eliminate those guys really fast, or it'd be impossible. No, see, each time I... It's not bad, that's not weird. Each time I continue, I, uh, I get one extra life. Turn my back, turn my back. I mean, this is pretty good overall, I just don't like... I don't like the aspect of, oh, did you not kill enough of these things? Well, now you can't literally not avoid them. And I realize that shoot, some old shoot em ups, especially older shoot em ups, already had that mechanic of, you know, if you didn't if you didn't destroy things just right, if you didn't move just right, sorry, you can't avoid attacks. Like, that's not unusual per se. I'm not just very bad at my fault. It's not unusual per se, but it's not, it's not preferable, you know? Also, if I wish I could kill these guys right now, you know, that'd be great. I'm not saying I can do that. Oh good! And and I and that ah. Okay, that's the third time playing. That's the third time my could I my control just forced me forward. Or forced me in direction. I went forward and right. Basically, I went right without meaning to. I just kinda of did it. Okay, that's good. Well there is something there is something going on with the control. Something that is very good. out of the way, this is suddenly more manageable. I'm like earlier. So hard. Hard's fine. But see, if I didn't kill those big guys really fast, those, that, those flying enemies would have been kind of 
might have been saying that. Probably the dog one, that holy shit. Okay. That was made it easier to get rid of these guys. So yeah, I have a few problems with this shooter. Mostly, the biggest issue is definitely just this what the hell is going on with my controls issue. Because I just randomly... Basically, I've had this in other games, actually. It's like a lag thing, where, like, the game is lagging in some way. Even though it's not actually having any FPS drops, weirdly. Uh, the game lags in some way, so the controller input lags. So it, it just takes whatever the last input was. And for, like, a few seconds, one or two seconds, it continues to process that input as that, even if I've changed input. That's basically what's going on here, and it's really random. It seems to be just random input lag. Not very good for a shoot em up, mind you. In fact, it's more or less, I think, out of the three times it's happened, it's killed me twice, so. Oh god, what? Worth it, I needed that. I have do I know the beer at the bottom, the blue meter at the bottom is what much of the It also has waves, so there's like a moment of like not having it. I have to be I probably should be using it more often, honestly. But yeah, like for now it's yellow, I can't use it again. Now I can use it again. Appreciate monsters like Garth Ace Ruin Karudia. Okay. Fortunately, this is the best weapon to use on it, I can tell because of now it's hitbox is really big. Well, they have options too. Because I've had to continue, I'm gonna get a crappy score, but it doesn't seem to be a limit to continues, which is nice. I actually prefer a limitless continue of shooting up because I feel like the challenge of simply getting through the stage is good enough on its own. Especially, you know, if you continue and it's reset the game and go back to the main stage, that seems fair.
Yeah, aside from the info, like, I'm enjoying this. I do think some of the enemy placement is a little, like, unreasonable in the regard of if you don't kill X, the Y is going to hit you because there's no room to dodge. Let's be room to dodge. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, I guess I will complain about the power ups and how they. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That thing to do is one way to play as fast as I can. There we go. Once block two, that's probably a clue they're gonna keep the application. Uh, My fault. Nice. We're doing old school we're doing old school uh I don't think it's radius it is. Another game did it though. You're an old school. Oh, you didn't get through in time? Well, fuck you, you're gonna die now. You gotta love that. I, I don't actually love that. Some old school designs for Geos I really don't like. I'll tolerate it, but I don't like it. Oh god, too much. Alright, fine. You left up this shit? Oh, there it is. Really? Oh, I don't remember that. I haven't seen it in a long time. Wait, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me here? Oh, you asshole. I- uh, no, that was an a- like, seriously, I was dealing with enemy waves. I wasn't ready to go through a wall. Okay, this stage has bullshit walls. Not a big fan. And because of that, I might- I might have to restart the stage. Oh god, we're not done? Okay. Uh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate because it's very nice. Kind of out of life and two hit points. But sure, let's find another boss. Oh, this is good. Okay. I must hurry because this nightfall still obtain on feral strength. Well, am I on a soft time limit here? Oh, hello.
just what I was saying. This seems to be working. I love it, guys. I gotta do the whole uh, asshole stage, right? Yep, okay. Well, I'll probably get it this time, at least. Let's see if I can remember the asshole walls. Like, okay, that, that's like the worst thing in the shoot em up, in my opinion. Asshole walls. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Those walls that close, they're, they're in every shoot em up. That is all closed. Usually. Usually only the old ones. Where bombs shoot them up, if they do have closing walls, they give you a, they give you plenty of opportunity to go through them and don't distract you with enemies first. Can I cruise on, honestly? I do have to say, my flashing animation after I get hit makes it really hard for me to tell where I am. Actually makes it hard for me to orient myself. Yeah, I was, I was really upset because I looked at those walls and I was like, you're not opening again, are you? You want some of this shit? Oh, I just realized my attack doesn't actually reach the end of the screen. Yeah, I learned my lesson. I'll be more careful. See, that, that wall right there actually encouraged me to hang back. Because that wall would actually crush you if you're too far forward. The last, last second there on that one. I also don't like the fact that, well, Vitra, I mean, it's fine. If, it's two bosses in a row. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Grab this boss isn't the worst boss. He kind of has some sluggish attacks, I'll be honest. And I like, I can destroy half of the guy. have better telegraphing, but it's not, I guess it's not the worst thing. Whoops, that was kind of bad luck. Also, I was kind of close.
actually has a more of the reason to let her fly. So. again, but I didn't get hurt that time, so whatever. So that's six times, by the way. She even unlocked Baby Dragon because I got, because I lost, because of number of continues used, probably. So I do want to blame at least one of those continues, kind of, on my life loss. Maybe two. That depends. Oh, he has an alpha? I didn't even see that. I swear I know this game. I'm gonna have to look this up in a minute. I feel like there's. A, I feel like I may have played the older version of this. I don't really know. It was a long time ago, so I think it was a flash game then, maybe. I'll have to look up Indra Dragon on Google and see if that finds any results. Not many stages, but perhaps there's. Well, I mean the. The credits kind of said, like, well, we're not really done, though, there's more monsters. So I wonder if there might be possibly more stages on hard difficulty or something? I don't know. I'll 
overall, I had fun. I just wish the control... I don't think it's my controller. I do not believe the issues involved my controller because I've never had my controller do that before. And my, I was using the analog stick, and the analog stick never got stuck. Like, it, it's a perfectly perfectly fluid analog stick. It's not getting stuck in direction or anything. So it's not my, it's not my controller. I do believe it's some sort of issue with the game. There is a complete edition for this game. That's what we. That, that's what I'm playing, Dark. That's what I'm playing. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the original. I need to look up the original though. Glory be to shmup. I thought that for a moment I thought that said glory be to shrimp, but I was like, fuck yeah, I love shrimp. All functions are unlocked. Oh. Let's see, let's see. With, with some struggling here, I I mean I beat this in, I technically beat this in less than an hour though, so I don't know. Not a very long game, but hold on a second. You getting the truck? Wait, hold on. What, what's Mugen Pitra? Also, let's see here. Normal blah blah blah, base level of fee. Expert level that for those who are familiar with Venture, players will face the true boss of the game. I knew it! I knew it. You have to play the game again on a hard difficulty to face the true boss of the game. And maybe? I'm kind of intrigued. Let's see what happens when I flip it. Wait, what's the difference between blue and blue eyes? Oh, I think I know the difference. No? I'm not seeing the difference. Oh, wait. Well, if there's any... If I'm going off of our type logic, I'm gonna guess the blue S is the version where you can hold them in place. The options, that is. You can hold them in a position. There must be a way to do that. Yeah, like right there. I saw it. Okay, you know, let's try that. I'm gonna try this sucker out. Let's see. Let's see how I can hold it. Wave zero easy after the death of Vintra. What? Okay. This is the This is the last stage again. Oh god, I just get the head the rock. Well, see, how do you hold them in place? Oh, you don't. They just naturally reset. They just naturally reset to a standard position. For Okay, I'm okay with that. What is this? What are these? What are these dialogue things? Beat on the brat? What? Sorry. Light my fire. I don't know what's going on. We're getting new music, and it's technically a new thing, so I'll do it. Love roller coaster, of course. Of course I love roller coasters, so why are you asking me this game? Actually, I don't. I don't know. Walk and roll dead. God save the queen, yes, absolutely. There no head. What's going on? Oh Input leg number seven issue. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I sadly did not get to see what Wave 8's name was. So it's kind of an arcadey survive as long as you can mode with one life. I'm gonna assume. Ah. Ah. 
And tell me, can I select... Oh yeah, you can. I think it's like type A and type B now. Now what's the difference between red and... Okay, red is like... Okay, what's orange? Okay, orange holds its forward position more. Alright, let's compare a green. Green's just this circly thing. What's emerald? That's not a circle. Ooh, a wave weapon. A piercing weapon. Those are those can be quite powerful. Yellow, yellow is obviously a little shotgun, not too bad. What about the purple? Purple just intermittent shot. Oh, oh! When you press back, you shoot back. Oh, it has a charge thing too. Okay, so I see. Interesting. Let's try. It. I'm gonna. Get... I guess I'll play a little bit more. I mean, sure, why not? I'm actually kind of curious on expert if I can keep playing if I die, or if it, if it I'll actually permanently let it make me stop. This weapon looks like a good one to kind of. Well, one thing I'm immediately noticing about Expert, the enemy shots I previously could delete, these ones, they're now dark and I can't delete them. So that's dangerous. Okay, I can still delete those. So they are also dark. Also, enemies are shooting more bullets, but they're also blowing up into bullets at that time. Definitely more bullets. Definitely more bullets, which I don't think is a good thing. Honestly, I feel like there's enough bullets already. Uh, but, you know, that's just me. I'm fairly good at shoot 'em up, so if I feel like there's too many bullets, it probably means there's too many bullets. I'm not, like, an expert, though. So it's probably fine for some, like, people that are actually experts. But for anybody of above-average skill, or lower. This is probably this is probably too many bullets. Even for normal. There's too many situations you can get in where you can't avoid something, which I don't really like. I feel like if you earn if you got yourself into that mess, okay. But definitely new enemies. I mean I appreciate the changes in the design of There's definitely a lot of new stuff going on. Pushed because of the ball, you can't, can't defend it that way. Right? Okay. 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 I, saw, I knew that was coming, but I still didn't know what to do. So, it looks like you can still continue and get an extra life. So, I assume. Okay, it looks like Expert isn't terribly, like, unreasonable in the sense of completing it. You can still... You can still come back. There's not limited continues or anything. It's just way harder. And of course, I'm sure when you continue... That'll probably hurt your score, but I'm not really a score person, so... It's not a big deal to me. Um... I'm gonna assume... Insane mode probably has you with no continues, or le or a limited number. Not bad. It's not bad. It's not super long though, so keep that in mind. The game is. Uh, let's take a look at the price. Uh, Fourteen dollars. That's a little bit. That's a little bit high for the length, but it's. it's I mean, shoot 'em ups are hard to judge by length. So, 
in my opinion, I don't judge a shoe by my length, but by how much fun I had playing it. I, this is pretty good. But there's there's definitely some frustrating moments which hurt it for me. So I wouldn't call it like top top of the line shoot 'em up. I'd rather play high, Super Hydra, which I by the way will stream at some point. Or uh, I'd like to go, or I'd rather go back to uh, Eshkatos. If you guys remember me playing that for a little bit, uh, those are better designed. I feel, but uh, it's not a bad game. It's not poorly designed. It's just kind of has some problems. The input leg is the biggest frustration though, and I don't know what's causing that. It could be a uh, keep in mind, there may be an input lag for your controller. Uh, I'm just going to say that right now. There may be input lag in general. I'm not really sure. I'm experiencing it. doesn't mean you will, but just be willing to watch out for that. Because it affected me at eight different times in one hour of play. So that's a lot, especially since one slip up in a Shinoa can kill you. So keep that in mind. I don't know what's causing that. It could just be me somehow, but I don't think it's my controller. I think it's the game reacting to my computer or something. I have no idea. But keep it in mind. But yeah, that was Vitra. Honestly, pretty good. 